Hello artists, welcome back to Super Happy Art Adventure Times. Today I'm going to teach you how to make some Kimmy Cantrell abstract expressionism faces, but we're going to make them out of clay. So you all picked up a bag of clay and one very important thing to keep in mind with clay is when you're not using it, you need to keep it covered with the plastic, otherwise it's going to dry out. So I'm gonna keep this nice and tightly covered and I might even put it inside of a garbage bag and close that up too. So when I'm not using it, I'm keeping it covered. So the first thing we have to do to make a Kimmy Cantrell face is we have to roll a slab of clay. So today you are going to need a ball of clay about this big and you're going to need a rolling pin. So I'm going to use boards here because they help me to keep my slab nice and even. Now, if you don't, you probably won't have these at home, but what you have to do then is you just use your eyes and try to keep the slab of even thickness. You don't want one part to be too um, thin and another part too thick. So it helps to stand when you do this. So I'm just gonna use the rolling pin. I'm gonna roll away from me. Maybe I'll roll a bit towards me. Two times away, two times towards, and then I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna rotate it. Flip it over and I'm gonna change its direction. Keep rolling. Okay, and it helps to stand up so you have the full force, the full weight of your body down on the clay. And every now and then, what I do is I pick the clay up, flip it over, change direction. Rolling out a slab. You can hear the sound, I've hit the boards. So my clay is now of even thickness. Maybe I'll take the boards away. And I'm gonna roll it a little bit thinner. I'm gonna keep rolling it a bit. Because I want it to be nice and long so I can fit my face on it, the abstract face. Okay, so now I have a slab of clay. Also, what you're going to need today is a drawing of the face you want to create. So I've drawn it with black markers, so that way it shows through to the other side. So what I'm going to do, okay, is this is the design I'm doing. I haven't added color because I'm going to do that with the glaze. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down on the clay, like so. I'm going to put it down. And I'm going to trace over the outside line of the face with in the clay. So I've got it here placed down on top of my clay. Got my pencil over here. Okay. And I'm just gonna push in. All right, I'm just tracing the outside lines. I'm not doing any of the other details yet. Just following the outside shape of my clay. Okay, and you might break through the paper in a few spots, but that's okay. Just kind of pushing down. Okay, and trace up this side. This. And down around the bottom. Okay, so that way when I lift, I can see the outside shape of the face. Okay, because I made the marks in the clay. Now it's time to carve. So you might need a pencil for this, or if you have a knife at home, you can use a knife. So I'm gonna carve up. Okay, I can take away this hunk. Okay, now I'm gonna carve up again. Okay, and Coming across the chin. And remember, you don't have to choose the same shape as me. You can design any kind of shape you want for the face. We know that it's abstract, so Kimmy Cantrell rarely does like oval-shaped faces. They're always sort of an interesting kind of shape. Oopsies. Go and move this. Move this. Maybe I'll just smooth that back in a bit there. Okay, and then I wanted to do these kind of like chunks here. Move this hunk. And this one will be there. This one's like kind of like teeth. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, so you're carving out the shape of the face from a slab. Okay, now just kind of take your finger and sort of smooth it over. Like this. Smooth your edges. Okay. Now the next thing you need to have prepared is your slip. The slip, remember, is like the clay glue. So I've got my tub of slip here. The way I make it is I take a chunk of clay like this and I add it to some water. And I can kind of mix it up with my fingers, get the slip going. Okay. Because so what we're going to start doing is we're going to start adding the facial features on top of this piece of clay, the slab of clay. Now, if at any point, let's say um, something comes up at home and you've got to stop working, what I need to do this is so important is because I'm not done, I must wrap this in plastic because if I just leave it out like this, it's gonna get dried up and then you won't be able to work on your clay piece again. So make sure if you're not, if you need to take a break and you wanna work on it again tomorrow that you take a plastic bag and you completely cover the clay so it's not exposed to the air. All right, and I'm gonna show you in a minute how to do the other elements of the face. That's for the next video.